do 40, 20, and 5 in consecutive games. Just, I know the shots weren't falling again in the first half, but can you just speak a little bit to his will to kind of try to get you guys to the finish line in some of these games? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's you know, what we've been talking about, his just his force, his determination, his will, um, you know, attacking, 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 finding teammates for open looks, just, uh, you know, his competitive nature. Um, it's just, it's, you know, what we're built for, what he's built for. And, um, you know, for the guys to just keep firing, um, you know, we kind of, we finally caught a half. Um, that's what we needed. We needed a half like that and we need to keep it going forward. Uh, is it a deep breath when the levee finally breaks or what? Yeah, what goes I don't know. Head? It's probably a deep levee when the buzzer goes off and we can get to the coach's locker room. Um, just seeing Joe, we talked a little bit about how you guys let him control the ball a little bit more in Chicago. I, I don't know if you expected a double-double tonight, but just what do you think of his ability to kind of exert his control over the game in the second half? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, obviously Giannis is the, the first question and for good reason, but – you know, I think there's a lot of, you know, Joe's Joe's uh, kind of fingerprints were all over, you know, assists and, and made baskets and him making threes and um, his competitiveness, his toughness. Um, you know, I, I think that it became a little bit contagious and, um, you know, it was Javon did some good things. Grayson hit a big, you know, wing three. AJ hit a couple in the second half. So, but I thought Joe... Um, you know, gave us a big boost and just gave us a toughness uh, and a competitiveness that, you know, we needed. Um, Bobby, sixth game with 20 and 10. Um, another, I think it's 20th double-double of the season. Um, kind of with Giannis, really the only offense going in the, the first half were, were those two, um, especially Brook and foul trouble. Kind of how big was Bobby um, to be able to just make shots and, and keep you guys connected in that half? Yeah, you know, he's, you know, it's something, you know, we've we've become, um, you know, something that's important to us. Um, he scores, um, you know, and I think tonight it was good to see him make a few threes. He's scoring a lot in the paint, he's scoring a lot around the basket. Um, you know, and I don't know, it looks like he had three for the game. I don't know if, you know, if which half he had one or two, but all of them felt big. And the ones in the first half, we were struggling. They felt even bigger. Um, what do you like about? AJ's performance, um, not just the minutes, but the fact he was also in a closing lineup in, in a game that was, you know, got within a couple possessions late. Yeah, no, just, you know, his shooting um, is elite. You know, we felt like we just needed to throw something different into the mix. Um, and just, you know, for him to keep with it, uh, it for his teammates to keep trusting him. And he's got a toughness, you know, he's in there mixing it up on the boards. I think defensively he competes. You know, he's a young guy that uh, we feel like can help us. Coach, three for 22 in the first half from deep, 11 for 17 in the second half. Um, among this, uh, these games where the threes haven't been going in, especially with a lot of open looks, what have you been telling the guys as far as like continuing to look for these shots, continuing to take them, but not getting too down in the dumps with them going, not going in? Yeah, I mean, we just keep shooting it. Just keep, you know, stay confident in them. Uh, you know, I think their teammates need to stay confident in them. The coaches need to stay confident, and they need to keep their own confidence. And, um, you know, I think it's the way the sport's built. You're not, you know, you're not going to be able to just all of a sudden not shoot open shots and um, not be able to play behind the three-point line and be um, competing at the level we want to compete at. So we just, we're on them to just keep shooting, stay confident. Do you think that at any point, do you ever see any player on the Bucks get a little bit discouraged with, seeing too many uh, shots not going in that they were fine when they're finding a good teammate, a teammate who's a good shooter, who's open, they're finding him for a good look. Um, do you sense any type of demoralization ever from that? Do you have to, you know, pump guys back up um, who are um, not seeing their teammates succeed in that way? I mean, we're human, so I, I don't want to, you know, act like we're robots and that we just, you know, kind of, um, ignore, don't see things. And the only thing I think it's just, you know, I think there's like a, a sense that it's, it's going to flip. It's going to change. I'm going to keep making the same pass. I'm going to keep telling that guy to keep shooting the same shot. Um, so while there's a sense of, um, I, I don't know what the perfect word is, you know, um, I don't think, I don't think anybody's demoralized anybody. There's an emotion, but I think, you know, if you could characterize that motion, it's to keep shooting it, is to keep passing it, keep trusting it. Um, and we need to we need them to go in. 
Um, it's, it's just, you know, you can't deny it. So I think the guys, I, I love the way they shared it, you know, 10, 10 assists for Joe and, um, we, and, and we've done it and we're going to keep doing it. Coach, just one last question on Joe and specifically his leadership. There was multiple moments tonight where he's huddling the guys or talking to Giannis, whoever it may be. How, what does he add in that aspect? Yeah, no, it's, it's been good to have another voice, another guy that's kind of bringing guys together, another guy that, you know, you know, we always talk about how high an IQ Chris has. You know, I think Joe's kind of in that same mold, sees the game, feels the game, can communicate the game. Um, you know, so to add him to the mix, um, you know, it's been really good. All right, thank you guys.